Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. In this game, we're gonna look at one of the best random squad games that I ever had. And it was just a, a couple of things that just kind of made this such a good game. Now, the first thing to kind of say why it was so nice is if you saw my video called Squad Kids, um, in both of those games from that video, I had teammates who were just making so much, I mean, they just, talk 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 time they never stop talking the nice thing about this game is uh, my teammates never said a word they just never really said anything um, they had microphones I think but they just never really said a word and they were usually just marking everything now we're gonna switch over to my teammates because teammates straight out the gate end up getting into a fight but I'm at the northern part um, because we're in Pleasant Park. Now, I've got one teammate who's all the way over here. I don't have any idea what he was doing. So, it's basically, it's a three-man squad is really what's going on. All right. So, two of my teammates, the two guys that were just absolutely fantastic, uh, was Manuel, something like <laughs> Manuel2139 or something, and another guy named Gotti Wax. And both of them were awesome in this game. It, it, it was... It was the fantastic playing with them. So this is the first fight coming in here. Trying to get this one guy down. One teammate goes down. I believe um, that was Gotti that went down. No, that was Manuel that went down. But he goes ahead, knocks this guy down. Go ahead, takes him out, runs over. He's trying to get his buddy up. And I'm pretty sure that the two of them knew one another. Um, now, their team is coming in around the corner. So, he teammate gets the other guy up. He takes off. We're going to put him back on me real quick. So, all of a sudden, shots are ringing out. I know that my team is in trouble. I'm trying to line up uh, the guys here. Both of my teammates get knocked right now. Now, Monty's way over on the other side at this point. Both my teammates go down. There's only one guy left. And I'm able to get this guy down. And I have to come in. I have to get the reboot cards um, uh, to, for both of them because they're both gone. So go ahead, get them up. Now, our other teammate, he <laughs> he's still alive and he's nowhere near us. We never meet with him. I don't know what he ever did. I, I, I don't know if he was trying to get a challenge done or what his deal was, but... I even had to mute him because it was like a, um, he had like a TV on in the background and I don't speak Spanish and that's all that uh, I was hearing from the TV. So I just went ahead and muted him, but he wasn't a part of us anyway. So go ahead, get both my teammates back up. They take off to go back and uh, pick up all their stuff. I drop a med kit for them, forgetting that you just, you don't need to, you start with full health. They didn't used to do that, and I just kind of forgot that. So, so from here, we end up having an entire squad come down. But what's kind of key about this is it's actually only two of us over here. Uh, our other teammate, um, I believe it's Manuel, is, uh, basically takes off. And I'm trying not to say the word basically too much. But he works his way south, and so there ends up just being two of us. So it's two versus four uh, in a squad, and my teammate does a fantastic job so we'll get to that so all of a sudden shots are ringing in and this is Gotti up here so Gotti is now taking on an entire squad by himself I missed that shot he's smart enough to build up protects himself now these guys don't know I'm here so I'm trying to take a moment he gets one guy down so now I start looking like okay I, I, I could definitely get some sniper shots here if I if I played this right do 100 damage to him god he's got two of them down now other teammate I get this guy knocked down and there's one guy left, and he's worked his way south. So Manuel finally realizes, like, oh, okay, I guess I should basically head back. So we're kind of looking to see.
see where this guy is. He ends up converging and coming in here. I can't remember who actually takes him out. I don't think we see him at first. Manuel might, might be the one that gets him. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll go ahead and fast forward from here. So this last guy is now coming in. He makes his presence known. My two teammates say, nah, fam. You're going down just like your two uh, or your three other buddies. I'm trying to just do a quick flank. I hear the guy go down immediately. So I know that that's the last guy that we were uh, looking for. So he's gone. So at this point, I've got a uh, green tack, I think. And I had a sniper rifle. And I actually picked up a, uh, a scar, I think. And... I don't take this um, this rocket launcher at this point. So next circle comes in, and well, Monty has died by this point and disconnected. So it's just me and my two teammates who are really good players. Uh, you know, between the two of us, we got that entire squad down. Uh, actually, all three of us got the entire squad down because they, the two of them, get the guy at the end there. So now it's just like, okay, well, let's just start moving. And I'm not a big fan of going to Pleasant Park. Because it's in a low valley, and I'm not crazy about it, but not a lot of people go there. So, it's, um, and everyone knows the layout of Pleasant Park from Fortnite 1. So, it, it's kind of a good place to fight just because it, it's so familiar. So, all of a sudden, I see two squads over here in the drive through and they are, or drive through the drive-in, and they're fighting. So, I call it out to my teammates. I'm like, let's go ahead and kind of converge over here, so we'll get to that. So we go ahead and we converge into here. One teammate right there, he gets nailed, gets lasered. I try to get that guy, I don't. Take another sniper shot at this guy, nail him for a hundred. He gets knocked. Other teammates over there, all of a sudden then my teammate goes down and I screwed up so bad right here. I see this guy right here. And this guy gets me down. Now, right here is where my other teammate shines. So let's show him. So Gotti is up here at the top. Now, there was only two of um, the teammates there, or the other squad. So he sees that. Now, Gotti doesn't have any shields at all. So he has to go ahead and kind of try to heal back up. He second guesses himself right there. So he goes back and hides. This guy's chucking grenades at the wrong area. Misses that shot. So it's one versus one right now. Now what I'm telling him through the headset is like, you know, the guy, you know, it's 1v1. There's nobody else. And Gotti just kind of... I don't know how the other guy didn't know where he was, but boy, he didn't. So he gets into his shields. Takes some damage right there, takes some more damage, goes ahead, and he has to heal up at this point because he doesn't have a lot. Now, right there is when both me and um, uh, Manuel, we go down. So we're, we're done at this point. So I'm yelling out, like, the guy's on your right, the guy's on your right. And he's trying to side him in. He does a good job of baiting him right there. Does a lot of damage to him. They play hide and seek for a moment. And beautiful shot right there. So he, you know, Gotti did a fantastic job in getting this guy down. So Gotti is smart enough to come over and say, like, okay, get the reboot cards, and then he's got to go because he's got to book it all the way over to here. Now, what you don't know, because uh, it's not showing on the map, is there was only one reboot place left to go to, and it was right over here at Frenzy Farm. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, Gotti has to go ahead, heal up as best he can, and grab the loot that he can. And so, my <laughs> my other teammate and I, we're just sitting there like, man, let's hope for the best. But you know, this is going to be difficult. So, we'll go ahead and kind of fast forward from here. So at this point, Gotti's moving in. Now there ends up being another squad right in front of him. Guy right here, other teammates down here, and he has another teammate up at the top. So 
I don't know how this one guy doesn't hear Gotti because he runs right up to him. Gotti pulls out the old sneaky sneak. <laughs> and then this guy just, oh yeah, all right, well, I'll just hop in here. Gotti jumps out and gets this guy down, you know, immediately. He's trying to go ahead and end him. Doesn't get him down. So right, right here is where Gotti is trying to get to. But now he's got two guys converging on him. So he's in the middle. So he's completely caught right here. Does a great job in just building up. Knows not to go too high in case it gets knocked down. Kind of protected by the tree, but he goes ahead and builds up. They go ahead and knock it down. He doesn't take any damage. Uses the SMG. Knocks him. Builds up. Has to reload, doing a buttload of damage. I don't really know. I don't think that's a bot or anything, but he wasn't great. And this is why Gotti is an awesome teammate, because it's not like he wastes any time. He knows where he's trying to get to, so he runs straight to the van. He knows to leave the other, uh, you know, he just killed, you know, a whole, you know, three-man squad by himself. Take all three of them out. But he knows that we're not going to have anything, so he leaves that so that we can go back. Let's go raid them, so we'll put it back on me. So, immediately, Manuel and I, we take off to go uh, loot. You know, he grabs the one guy there. I run over here, try to loot back up. But I am not going to carry this pistol, I know that much. Go ahead, get into the bush real quick, and resort my inventory. Get everything where I like it to be. And from right here, so, you know, we've got two teams south of us that are fighting. There's nobody else near us at the moment, which was great. And we were down to, I think, like, um, 16 people at this point, because we still have more guys coming in. So, um, it's three of us, it's those two, it's that squad, this squad's coming in. So, it's something like 15 or 16 people left at this point. So still just on me, <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything together the way that I like it. So my two teammates move up right here. Now this is kind of key because this is what I realized. Like, okay, there's nobody on my right, there's nobody on my left. My two teammates are going in a straight line. Now I said in the other video, anytime you're playing squads, always be willing to be the one guy who's willing to flank. Flanking in squad games is imperative to being able to kind of win a fight that you may, you know, be outnumbered on. So, right here, you know, I see this team down here, and then all of a sudden, I hear shots coming from this direction. So, immediately, it's like, okay, boom, I got to move left, because I'm going to flank around the side. Then, all of a sudden, I see my teammate, he's shooting over in this area. So that's just where I say to myself, like, boom, go left, go left, go left, because if my teammates are going to draw their fire, I'm going to be able to kind of just put the hurt here. So I see this guy in the open field, and guess what this guy's doing? He's flanking. He's doing exactly what I'm doing, and he's he's trying. God bless him. And I'm able to uh, knock that guy right there. I get him down, and I think he was trying to come around to probably go to the reboot because he's only got one teammate left at this point. So he's flanking, but I go ahead, I get this guy down, I swap out, I believe, yeah, I just swap that out. And I'm still at this point, I'm kind of surveying because I know I knocked this guy. I know he's from this direction, which means I know there's one other teammate and he's probably gonna be right in front of me somewhere. So I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a second. I take that shot, don't get that, I don't do any damage. To that guy now my two teammates they're right back to you know where they are and there's they're in the circle everything's going pretty good I end up having the one guy over here on my left that I see here in a second good old hopper I see him standing right there line him up get a headshot take this guy out he goes down immediately so I know that squad's done so at this point, I'm saying to myself, like, okay, it's going to be rocket time, so let's go ahead. And I think I had 150 uh, health at this point. I don't think I ever picked up the big pot. Maybe I did. I don't know. 
Yeah, I, mean, I think I was back to 200. So, there's still two teams over here, technically. So, there's two squads. So, I'm in the flanking position. My two teammates are hanging back, giving me covering fire. They're doing exactly what you should be doing in a three-man squad at this point. And no one's saying a word, and it's wonderful because it's so quiet, and I can just focus on the game. Um, I go ahead and swap out. I'm not a big fan of the bullpup, but I, you know, at this point I need it because I just need to do as much damage as I can. I have a theory about the bullpup, but whatever. Um, so I see the one guy pop up there, and I've got a buttload of rockets at this point. So, my teammates at this point are now like, screw it, let's go. So, they're converging. It's three versus three at this point. And I'm just going to start unloading as many rockets as I can. That's all I'm going to do. I do like 85 damage or 95 damage to the guy right there. And all I want to do is continuously knock this guy down. Because I know eventually I'm going to do some damage with the rocket here. And right then, you know, I knew one of my teammates had basically just gone right down. I said basically. But right here was key because I knew that we were down to five people at this point. Because, if you know, it pops up, you know, there's only five people. So I see my one teammate. I know my other teammate's alive. And then I see this guy here. So at this point, I say to myself, it makes more sense for me to try to revive my teammate while the other guy is actually distracted. Because if I can get it three versus one, we're guaranteed to win. Um, if I just basically go, basically, if I just go and get into the fight so it's two versus one it gives them a better chance to kind of pull out the win right there in case the guy's in a better position etc etc so while i'm doing this so while i'm doing this manuel is back here looking to get the shot and uh don't need it because <laughs> the guy on the other team ends up dying to the storm because we ended up doing a fantastic job in using the circle to block these guys off so that they were going to have to come to us we could always retreat and they'd have to come through us which is another great maneuver which is great why my teammates moved down but guys this was a fantastic game where it was just perfect squad tactics everything just kind of worked you know i had teammates who just just did a fantastic job in pulling out the victory here um did everything that they needed to do this was one of my most fun squad games that i've played in a long time just because everyone was just like we're here to win we're not here just to goof off because i played a couple games today and it was just i hate random squads i really do but it's worth doing it just so you can get to play a game like this because my teammates were awesome so manuel Gotti, both of you guys thank you so much um who was the other guy oh yeah monty you should have stuck around you would have actually ended up having a pretty good game that guy probably would have just gotten us killed anyway but alrighty guys thanks so much for watching this game i do appreciate it and uh we will see you next time see you